very good. Definitely deserves Last it. couple weeklies. And Stocktaker, uh, playing Villager. He was in Smash 4, he played Villager and Fox. Yeah, um, I've heard he was playing Wii Fit as well. Uh -huh. um, so Wii Fit yeah. and Villager so far in this game. A couple he also others has as well. a, um, Isabel. He also right, Isabel. yeah. So I, I really want to see this. I haven't commentated one of Venya's matches for this Smash Ultimate or even seen him play yet. But I mean, if it's fascinating. He yeah. moves so I, th I feel like this game was built for Venya. Because Venya was always. He just said that. Yeah, he's, he's always a proponent of, like, you know, not shielding, mm -hmm. just using movement instead of shielding. Absolutely. And that was really his, his best attribute in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. But as I talk about all these great things about Venya, he's down 75% and has not touched exactly. Stock Taker right there. Uh, <laughs> As we're bragging about so, uh, Venya. <laughs> but yeah, Venya has been very... Where is he going? Yo, that almost sent what? him what? to the blast zone. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened at any point in that play. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nonetheless, resetting neutral here. Venya tried, just trying to get some uh, percentage. But fair, and he's keep evened it up stage. a bit. Mm -hmm. They buff Shadow Sneak, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but that bowling ball. Gonna take care of business right there. Stock yeah. gets the first stock. Yeah. I wonder if you would have just went straight up if you would have clipped the ledge fast enough to avoid that bowling ball. It's possible, but that thing's yeah. hard to avoid. Yes. Yeah. It's a big bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> Hindsight is always 2020, but um, that's and fair gonna do it. Fair gonna take it. So after a big uh, early lead for Stock up 30% or so. Mm -hmm. Nothing massive, but certainly a slight edge still for Stock Taker. Yeah. Now, and I love how Venya, uh, you can see. He, he got hit a lot the first stock with kind of random pellets, uh, dash attacks and stuff. But you can see him kind of trying to understand the neutral against this character and right. weaving around these uh, projectiles. Ooh, that was interesting. Dash back into the uh, top hit of up smash right there. Oh, that's nice. Mm, okay. Gonna keep him off stage. Ooh, this isn't good. It's a tough situation right here. Good timing on the neutral getup. Yeah. And you can see him, he, he opted to chop the tree really early because your ledge invulnerability does not last as long in this game. Right. So he and will it, catch it still slipping. depends on your percent a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he gets oh. caught on the platform with that shadow sneak. Nice. And the back air kills very early right there. That covered a lot of options. That move had a lot of set knockback in Smash 4. It would kill really early, like right near the blast zone. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, it's it kind of combo. looks very strong right stuff. there. Yeah, I, I don't understand how Greninja combos work. Yeah, I don't think many people do. <laughs> I think um, everyone we tried all know to many pick those. up. Uh, I think everyone tried to pick up Greninja once and like never didn't, again. <laughs> didn't try it again. Back Kay. throw, my kill. Not quite. Ooh. Staying Good alive. Good DI. Big frog. And he counters back onto the stage. You can apparently just take that any direction. Yo, now. how does that counter work? That looks so clean. <laughs> Avoids the wind box or the okay. water box, whatever you want to call it. Now you see, Venya's sitting at 160, and usually people would opt to play much safer, kind of like pick their uh, Never options. Venya. Nah, he wants the damage. Venya wants all the smoke, man. Not the type to to back off and just throw shurikens because it's, uh, you know, in air quotes, optimal. Uh huh. Because uh, I don't think he thinks it is optimal. I think he always believes that there's something Greninja can be doing. Mm -hmm. And he catches the up smash on the tree right there, extending yeah, the hurt box. Yeah, I was about to say, well. did it extend it? That was nice. That was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, Star Trek are playing well, but Venya just so confident, comfortable on this character so yeah. far. And you can see the adaptation th towards that last stock. Right. He wasn't getting hit by Pellet. He wasn't on the ground to get hit by um, Dash Attack. Uh, he just died to a couple of grabs. So um, I'd, like to, I'd like to see him avoid those grabs and see if Stock Taker can adapt to find the stock another way. Right, know? yeah. Because Venya's going to do it. He's going to adapt. He's going to understand, okay, I died to two back throws. I'm not getting grabbed this game. You're going to have to do something else. But the second one, of course, took him until 170. Yeah. <laughs> then he got grabbed for up being where it was a free punish. So and he, he, even within that, he was already aware of the options, just yep. able to get rid of you know, potentially bad situations. Yeah. Uh, so he had a right Venya banning on uh, Yoshi's Brawl and Lilat, anything yeah. that is not flat on the ground. <laughs> I hate Yoshi's uh, which, stages. <laughs> which totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, here for Greninja. Going to Battlefield here. Okay. Now you see, uh, he, he's taking a slower approach to this uh, neutral, but now he hasn't been. Ooh, he's just dead. He's already dead. Yo, that was uh, that was one conversion pretty much right there. <laughs> that was <laughs> absolutely just takes him out. <laughs> that was absolutely precise. He put his boxes exactly where they needed to be, and Stock Taker took the bait. Man. And the villager is a, is a small man. It <laughs> is not a big target to hit, and he just swung at it. He just swung at it invisibly, mm -hmm. and it, that <laughs> it all was worked really out. Good. An incredible first stock from Venya, and this game basically starts with Venya up a stock now. Yep. Now let's see, let's see what Stock Taker could do. A lot of players will falter to kind of shake uh, in this type of situation. Let's see if Stock Taker can hold his own and opt to come back. This is, I think, the tough thing here. This is a character that is not designed to make big comebacks. Uh -huh. Villager you know, is capable of it. I mean, any character is, uh -huh, but absolutely. it is very, very hard to 
really force the issue with Villager. Yeah. Because even though, as we mentioned, Venya not really wanted to camp you out or try to play defensively the whole time, nor can you really against Villager and just yeah. get your shurikens pocketed right back at you. Mm -hmm. But still, even then, Stockshaker has to make something happen, and that's a really bad situation to be in with Villager. Exactly. Because he's a character who really thrives when the game comes to him. Mm -hmm. And now he can't really do that. Absolutely. Ooh, that, was, that was a good mix-up right there. Back air, not Strong hit back air, though. He's going to have to slow the game down. The game's going to have to slow down to a crawl just like that. Got him in disadvantage and was able to take the stop with the bowling ball. Good yeah, job. conversions and just like juggle situations are going to be very important for Stock Taker because he does get the stock and even that up, but still down pretty far on percent. But, but, no, but nonetheless, Villager can put on damage. Yeah, Villager sometimes can't kill you till back throw at 160, and sometimes you die to a bowling ball at 42, Absolutely. and you're Eclipse left your questioning your, your life choices. <laughs> Eclipse your jump, you have to go <laughs> under the stage. Uh, good night. <laughs> Venya just showing up from all angles. Mm -hmm. Now you see this on on Greninja's counter. It has some kind of like slow mo frames that it kind of puts the opponent into. Dude. Yeah. I don't know. If, uh, it looks like they're getting parried. The game. Yeah. It, like it's, it's kind of the same kind of timing thing where you, you slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. No cool third strike sound effect though. So. Nair the fair. Nair still fair. true, man. Yep. That's a classic thing we've seen from Venya for years. Mm -hmm. And I, I suppose other Greninjas. There's not many of those. Right. <laughs> I mean, Greninja's hard, man. Greninja's be very precise. hard. But here we go, 35% on him. Uh, you would think the stocks are even, but no, Venya is uh, sitting pretty comfortable. Oh, I remember right this now. game started 3 to 2. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good placement of the Lloyd. And that's a really good adaptation from uh, Sockticker right there. He's He's been able to recover so consistently with the yeah, side the B to ledge. And then here we see covering the side B with Lloyd. Bowling ball for the low recovery. And now he's brought this all the way back to the mm -hmm. point where he's still yeah. down, but now it's basically all tied yeah, up. This, this is a game. very close game. This is a game. Okay. Kind of slugging it out. Uh, great, great. <laughs> Greninja keeping full stage control. Now it's going to switch. And the counter. <gasps> that is so good. He can go any <laughs> Oh, he's just dead. Okay, well, we Stock Taker it takes back. it out of nowhere with a forward air stage or back air. Same thing. Let's see. Which one was it? They are, they are different. I know. But <laughs> same premise. The back air right yeah. there. The back air stage spike. That's the strong hit. Nice. And that is just going to take it. Yep. So Stock Taker taking that, game two. We're going to game three. Yeah, and that's complete momentum because, like you said, it started out three to two. Yeah. Like he took, a, he took his he took stock, a stock very in early. 10 seconds or so. Mm -hmm. And that was a really good comeback. So that's a lot of momentum in Stock, it's in stock Taker's favor. And a we get of bands of FD and the closest thing you can find to FD. Uh, good bands. Greninja hey, was the only character I banned FD against in Smash 4. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not taking Little Mac to FD. And this is the closest <laughs> thing to FD that's left. Yeah. Uh, big open platforms and platforms on the sides. Uh, I like this stage a lot. I think Kalos? Kalos is, I think Kalos is a great stage. There's a lot of mixed feelings for Kalos. I think it's cool. Yeah. The platforms are, are weird. It is a and weird they, place. And they add a lot to ledge trapping. I think that's a big a thing. Is thing. It, <laughs> it gives you an extra option for um, catching jumps sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, if your character has like you know a setup kind of thing you can put up there, that's one thing. But really, just yeah. like putting yourself up there is dangerous because it can get you hit by an aerial more easily than just being in the air. And you're absolutely closer to the blast zone, so I like it a lot for Peach. Mm. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting on that platform, get four aired at forty. Oh, man, that move still goes too. What? Where did Yo, you? Yo, I gotta. Someone's somebody gonna have has to, to explain this and to make me. a video. Someone has to make a video and I think on Greninja. It has to be Venya. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Benya featuring Beefy Smash Trees. <laughs> Here we go, Nair the Fair gonna put oh, him off stage. He, he's just going for it. He tried to hit him with it again. Stock Taker seemed to be ready that time. And I think this is a, a big thing for Venya is you, you'd think that after the way that last game ended, a lot of players would be afraid and they'd play a little more casually or a little, you know, a little safer. Mm -hmm. Venya has no interest in that. Venya's gonna continue to play his game because he trusts his game at all Absolutely. times. And that's not quite gonna kill, but it's close and it puts Villager at 131 here. Ooh, oh, we got the balloons. Nice. Not he quite needed that. Him. Oof. He needed that little float at the end. Which way is he going? Okay. I wonder how many frames of like oh, um, that's unfortunate. FAF he has after that. Yeah. I Kinda think it's a decent figure. amount, but he drifts so far that you have to pick up on where he's going really early. Yeah. Because I, I personally can't really tell where he's coming from immediately yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to focus on that here, and that's, I think, a really important thing for punishing it. Oh, my God. He almost died. And he's at 50. <laughs> How did Venya have a jump after all that, by the way? <laughs> I, like, I looked away from him after he like double jumped side B, side B, and he just jumped again. I think he wall jumped, which would have been pretty cool. Nonetheless, uh, it... <laughs> Venya has a lot of rage right now. Uh, still not going to die. If he Almost. can get back to the stage, he might take this stock. 
here we go. Resetting the neutral. And every time he's opting for that counter because Stock Taker hasn't found a way to punish it. Gets the landing there. Good DI from Stock Taker. Gets away from the follow up. But almost a full stock behind now. And I thought that was a yeah. significant problem for him last game. Yeah, but he will die to the Lloyd go. grab setup right there. Now that's that, a hard setup to avoid. Uh huh. Shield the Lord, you get grabbed anyway. And then if you ju if they read your jump, you're getting pelleted with uh some yeah. rocks. <laughs> Anytime Villager can put you in that situation, it's always a good situation for them. Absolutely. Villager is all about the bait. You think I'm gonna hit you here? And look what at the, yo, <laughs> Venya is yo. Uh, Greninja seems really like wacky in this game. If you don't know the matchup, you get deleted. <laughs> he can't punish it. He just can't punish I, it. I don't know the matchup. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> name, a, name another Greninja. I mean, MTW, exactly. who, uh, who Greninja did hurt him last oh, yeah? week, and that's that's it. That's all I've seen. He, but even uh, <laughs> he's playing uh, Olimar today. Yeah. So Good. Greninja's not easy. Shut up Olimar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here we go. Got him off stage. Nice from Venya. Not going to go low. He understands. Listen, that bowling ball can take my stock. Uh, uh, Venya looking to close this one out here. And that's a really good picture of how to how to you know manage a situation in disadvantage. You're not trying to get back without getting hit, because that might not be possible sometimes. Uh -huh. So he takes what he knows will get him punished the least. He knows he cannot be far enough that Villager can't grab him. Villager's slow, has a very slow grab. So he upbees all the way across the stage, gets dash attack. And that's, yeah. that's fine. Uh, you'll take the dash attack. Dash attack is not really an issue. It resets neutral anyway. Uh, Villager not really able to catch him again. So... Venya gets back, and now we're in this situation where we're even on percent with Venya stock ahead. Exactly. And very close to closing out this set. Now you see Stock Taker has a jump habit. He's jumping really high above uh, above Venya. Uh, Venya might call that out. There He's just going to call that out again. Why not? Um, I didn't count how many stocks he took with side B, but it was at least a three lot. or four. At least three. At least three. <laughs> at least we'll three. go with that. Yeah. Here's, here's a replay and of then, um, and then this. the last one. That counter is wild, and Stock Taker was not ready, neither was I. Yeah. Uh, Venya's already really good at this game. Yeah. I mean, uh, that was really impressive. Well for him.